Hello, hello, hello. Happy Wednesday. <laughs> How's everybody doing? Let me make sure I have this set up the right way that you can see me and you can hear me. Let's see. Let's see. Mm -mm -mm. Let me get myself situated. Let's see. Let's see. I think I almost have it. All right, rocking and rolling. How is everybody doing tonight? <laughs> oh, somebody's grabbing a cocktail. Really? What are you sipping on over there? Okay, let me know. <laughs> hey, Brian, Tim, I see you. Mark, happy Wednesday to you. Hmm. <laughs> hey, Miguel, how you doing? Check your email. Check your email. I, I sent you some items. <laughs> I'm excited about Los Angeles. We're going to have to make this happen. Hey, Jerome, good to see you. <laughs> oh, you got some Haitian rum? Look, cheers for everybody tonight. <laughs> Just a little bit, Diego. Just a little bit. <laughs> I'm still reliving um, the Deviant Party in Atlanta. The theme was glow. So I thought I'd throw on something. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. <laughs> Tinel, not the edibles. Not the edibles. Ryan, I see you in the comment section. Mm, 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 mm. That's all I'm going to say. That's all I'm going to say. That's all I'm going to say, Ryan. <laughs> Wesley, how are you? Congratulations on your new position. I'm so happy for you. I don't even know where you're at in the world. You're always moving, but it sounds like you're being very successful with doing the DEIA work. So congratulations. Jay, Philly, hey, what's going on? <laughs> yes, I was in there. Good thing you didn't see me. I'm too short, you know. You probably would. You missed me. <laughs> oh, yes. Um, Diego, yes. I, thanks for coming out to the event on Saturday. If you all didn't know, so this past weekend in Atlanta, it was MLK. MLK weekend everywhere, but in Atlanta, it's our mini black gay pride. So I threw an event on Saturday where we did painting. We did had some wine and... Um, we had some guys do some painting. We had a good time. John came out and was one of our winners for the night. We had a good time, but um, Diego came. So great to see you. Wait, Tygo came, Diego came, John came. Um, I mean, let me stop naming names because people were like, Lamont, you didn't name me. We had a whole bunch of guys there. Had a great time um, in Atlanta. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. <laughs> And I know y'all be cussing me out like, Lamont, why don't you do something in your city? I am going to be trying to um, hit all, up all the different prides. So, um, yeah, Nate was there as well. Yeah, you brought Nate. It was great meeting him, too. Um, James was there. Yes, had a great time. But I am planning different events in different cities, okay? And if you um, <laughs> want me to come to your city, let me know. Um, <laughs> let me know, let me know. Um, but I am doing something for folks in Los Angeles next month at the end of February. So stay tuned for that. I am debating if I'm going to do something in Atlanta for Valentine's Day. We'll see. I don't know. I don't know. You know, I got, you know, that's a Tuesday. So I might be trying to do something with my husband. So maybe I'll do something, um, <laughs> the weekend of, okay, you know, you know, I don't want to be cussed out, right? <laughs> hey, Rick, I see you in the comment section. Good to see you. <laughs> yes, I was in D.C. T. Now, I was in D.C. I had an event in D.C. Uh, well, I co-hosted a event. Uh, well, actually, let me know. It wasn't my event. I was invited to be a panelist or a speaker in D.C., it was Terrell had a um, even up there, but I I shared it, you know, you know, you know. We'll see. 
What are you talking about? Slim bottom season is finally back. I I I, <laughs> I didn't know they were in season. Like they go in and out. <laughs> you know, let me know. <laughs> Uh, let me know what cities you are watching from tonight. Let me see. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. I, so I'm I'm trying to redecorate my office. As you all haven't noticed every week, it probably looks different. I probably need to bring someone in here to design it for me. If you know some good designers, let me know. I'm trying to, you know, as they say, trick it out so it can look fabulous. Other than that... I might have to do it myself. Um, we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Um, I see Philly in the house. t -Nail, you are not in Wakanda. Brooklyn is in the house. Where else is our folks watching? Atlanta in the building, as always. Um, let's see. Let's see. Where else are you all watching from? <laughs> no, Rick. I'll get someone else to do it. <laughs> Destination City. Um, where else? Where else? I don't know where you are watching from. Let me know. Is anybody from Chicago watching? Anybody in here, Chicago? I see Jersey. I see my sister. I had to cuss her out over the weekend. Hello, Alicia, my real sister, <laughs> in the comment section. <sighs> I see Cleveland. That's another story. Orlando. Jay, you're in Houston. You're probably all over the United States. DC. Khalil, where are you watching from? I want to know. <laughs> oh, you are not on the Titanic ship, okay? I hope you're not on a cruise. Um, usually people get a whole bunch of COVID. Ryan, you're in Mexico. Which part of um, <laughs> Mexico? Yes, Ronellis. I have to say real sister because, you know, the gays be like, oh, that's my sis. That's my sister. No, that's my blood sister. We came from the same parents in the comment section. Yes. <laughs> who was, um, has, she's a female. She is. <laughs> <sighs> Atlanta, Greenville, South Carolina, Brooklyn. Okay. In the house. Okay. I was just trying to see if we had anybody from Chicago. I have a client I'm trying to match up in the Chicago area. Hmm. Hmm. Are we going to get the show started tonight? Let me know. If you are single and you're watching Go ahead and click the request button. Thank you, JP, for the badge. Good to see you. Delaware. Okay. Yes, my sis sister. <laughs> Our mess. A mess. <laughs> Indianapolis. Okay. If you're single, click the request button. I will bring you on. If you're watching, we're at 200. Great. So we get the show started. But go ahead and tag some of your single friends. Share this video with like five people. Tell them get their ass on over here so they can shoot the shot, right? Jay, if you are in Dubai, are you in Dubai? Are you, la are you just teasing? Because that one guy from Nigeria was in Dubai drinking Henny at 6.30 in the morning. Hmm. Are you there? If, if you are in Dubai, I'll send you his DM, his IG info, and you can hang out with him. But just listen, if you get kidnapped or your liver comes up missing, don't blame me. All right. <laughs> Phil, I see you in the comments. Thank you for the badge. Thank you, Joey, as well. <laughs> okay, so Jay, you are in Dubai. You should hit up the guy that was in Dubai who was um, on the show last week. Check out his traveling business. <laughs> he said he was the top. They don't believe him, but <laughs> all right, whatever. I'm I'm acting foolish. Are you all ready to get the show start started? If so, let me see some hearts in the comment section. If you're ready to, oh, he is. And Kenya is watching. And Kenya, he's in Dubai. Jay, you should um hit him up. Look at me making a love connection before the show even starts. Okay. Jameer, be quiet. I didn't post it yet. <laughs> oh, um, if you're ready to get the show started, let me see some hearts. Chris, thank you for the badge. And I want to see you all share this the video with some people. Hey, Ryan, with your blue hearts over there. Thank you, Joey. All right, I think we're ready to get the show started.
let me see. We have some people. Yep, we got some people in the queue. I am Lamont White. I'm the gay dating coach. This show is supposed to be fun. You get on here um, to have fun, to meet guys. You agree that I can use the recording. This show is not staged. I don't, you know, have a list of people who are supposed to come on here. And let me say this caveat. All this is, you know, um, I don't know these people who come on here. <laughs> Somebody was in my DM last week and was like, oh, you and that guy was on there and he was flirting with somebody. Apparently somebody's boyfriend was on the show a couple weeks ago or somebody they were dating and they thought that we were pretending on Instagram. And I'm like, no, anybody that comes on here, I'm assuming they're single and they're trying to shoot their shot. So if you're dating somebody and they come on my show and they try to shoot their shot, that's not your man, sis. I just want to let you know that, okay? That is not your man. Mm-mm, mm-mm. This, none of this is um, staged, okay? I guess I'm going to put that out there. <laughs> That's a blind item for somebody. I hope he's watching. <sighs> okay, let me stop being messy. <laughs> I'll say the person's name throughout the night. You'll see. You'll catch on. Hmm. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> oh, Lord, let me get started because y'all gonna have me acting a fool, okay? <laughs> All right, let's go to um, David. I'm coming to you, David. David, I'm coming to you, David. Let's see if you're ready. Let's. Oh, uh. <laughs> whatever. <laughs> I do need a medium sized pizza. I might eat a whole one, Jerome. We'll see. <laughs> hello 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 how you doing i'm doing amazing how are you oh you're so soft-spoken that's sweet i like that you're like lamont don't do this to me already <laughs> first I'm feeling that you were going to pick me wait and, uh... so i don't know if the audio is low or is it is is it me or is it you well i just turned my volume up Okay, much better, much better, because I'll be screaming the entire time, okay? Um, what's your name? I'm David. David. Okay, David, nice to meet you. Where do you live? I live in Virginia. W what part of Virginia, David? Uh, about 45 minutes north of Richmond. 45 minutes from where? Richmond. Richmond, Virginia. My husband is from Richmond. I will actually be unfortunate. Well, let me. Oh, <laughs> I'll be in Richmond this weekend. I'm always up in Richmond because it's my husband's family. But okay, so David, you are outside of Richmond. Was it? Is it? Um, let me guess the name of the city. Is it south or north? It's north. Oh, then. Oh, you're close to D.C. Then. Yeah, I'm about one hour from D.C. and um, about 45 minutes from Richmond. Okay. Okay. What's the name of the, the town or the city? Fredericksburg, Pennsylvania. Fredericksburg. Okay. Okay. What are you sipping on over there, David? Listen, for me to be on here tonight, I got to be on something. So um, I'm drinking some uh, Crown Apple with Fiji Apple Red Bull. And um, I've got some absolute that I'm shot. Oh, yeah. It definitely looked like it was some 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 brown liquor. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. I just fixed my audio, my my sound. So it down, I can see you hear you better. Okay. How old are you, David? I'm 45. 45. Okay. How tall are you and about how much do you weigh? 5'10", about 212. 5'10", 212. What's your zodiac sign? I'm a Gemini. Gemini. Uh-oh. What, what do they say about these Geminis? <laughs> uh, we have dual personalities. D do you? Yeah. Oh, Lord. Are you taking any drugs yeah. for that? <laughs> Well, that's not a bad thing. The dual personality is one fun is one serious. That's all. Which one are we getting tonight, David? You're going to get a mixture of the two. I'm sitting here with the audience of uh, my sister and my bestie and her girlfriend, and they're literally in my cheerleaders in the corner. Oh, I want to see them. We want to meet them. Can we meet them? 
Come on, they're part of the show tonight. Let's see. Let's see. Come on. Come on. Let's see. They're running. They're running. Don't we run. are going. Uh, bring that they ass on ran. over here. We want to see. Are they, are they dressed? <laughs> they, they just ran, so they gone. You can just push the little button next time and it just like flip the camera. Don't worry. Should have just turned it around and let you see them. <laughs> now, is they, uh, let's see. Oh, I see you. I see you. Look at them. Look at them running around. Yes. Hey. <laughs> oh God! Why? We were just having fun. I was actually interested. I told them about this. I've been following like Kendra G, uh -huh. um, on her particular um um page, and I was telling them that I was looking at yours, and I was like, I don't know Kendra D. She she entertains straight and gay, you know, folks, and I was like, and I was looking at yours. I was like, I kind of want to look at his and see what he has to offer. So. Yeah. I just got on here, and then they would just started following you as well. So literally, this is new to all of us. Oh, that's listen, that's right. I love Kendra G show. I like this show a little bit better because <clears throat> um, you can find a man on here. Okay, that part. <laughs> well, it's, it's a little different for me because you know I'm not really on the scene like that, so it's kind of new for me. Um, so it's it's very you know. I'm 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 a shy guy, so it's it's mm -hmm. it's a little different. For me. I I can tell, and they keep telling me your page is private. Absolutely. <laughs> He's like absolutely. <laughs> so that's fine for right now, but at least afterwards, I need to be open for one day. That's it. I got you. Okay, perfect, perfect. Okay, so you are Gemini. You are living up to it, David. Yeah. Are you team top, bottom, or verse? Versatile top. You are versatile top. When do you give up the cakes? I want to know. In a relationship. So you got to be like knee deep in a relationship before you give up cakes. I cannot confirm nor deny. <laughs> <laughs> you there's receipts. There's receipts. Okay. Okay. If it's a special one, you might give up the cakes. Okay. Okay. It depends. That's what that gives. You know, when, when, you, when you're single, you know, you just do what you want to do. You know what I mean? Live a little, David. Live a little. Okay. Okay. We'll, we'll, we'll see how well you take them. But you're verse top. Okay. What type of work do you do? Uh, I'm in healthcare. You're in healthcare? Okay. Tell us a little yeah. bit more. Um, I manage a couple of urgent cares in the um, uh, Richmond area. Um, I've been in healthcare since 04. So okay. just kind of success okay now tell yeah. us your instagram handle and spell it for us okay uh it's infinity i n f i n i t y means m a n m e m e a n s the number four e v a so infinity means forever oh i love the... that listen you all this is david David lives outside of Richmond in between DC and Fredericksburg, Virginia. He is 45 years old, 5'10, 212 pounds. He's a Gemini. He is verse top. He works in healthcare and management. We got him sweating already, which is a good thing, which means, you know, we're going to have fun tonight. <laughs> Open his damn window. <laughs> Over here laughing at me. <laughs> Take that damn hat off. You'll cool down. It's a scully, that's all. That's scully, yes. <laughs> it's always colder up here in Virginia, of course. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> Diego, are you keeping count? Are you keeping count? Okay. Tell us, um, David, what type of guy are you looking for tonight? <sighs> um <clears throat> Give me three things that describe the guy that you're looking for. Somebody that's really loyal. Um, what'd you say to me? Sorry, yeah, sorry, said, come on, listen. Uh, uh, come on, come on. You loyal? Uh, I think the loyal is the biggest thing. Um, I want somebody that's into me. Okay. A lot of times people can find out what you do for a living. They can find out what you like to do and they fall in love with that. But it it's very seldom that people really like you for you. Okay. So you want someone Without to be into you? Okay. Loyal? Yeah. Um, I think that's the biggest thing for me. Um, be Like me for who I am. What I have to offer. Flaws and all. And okay. I, you know, and I have a problem with with, with uh 
listing my flaws and who I am as a person. Um, I can go through that. But at the end of the day, you still have to make a conscious decision that when you learn somebody holistically, do you make a conscious decision whether you want to be with them or not. Okay. Okay. David, question. How long have you been dating guys? I don't know. Um, how long, openly, let me rephrase the question. When's the first time you had sex with a guy? Oh, I can't tell you that shit. <laughs> That's been a long ass time ago. Okay. When's the last time you went on a date with a guy then? Oh, uh, <laughs> Um, Don't make this interview hard, okay? <laughs> about a month or so ago. A month ago, okay. Are you? How long have you been openly gay? I have never considered myself openly gay, actually. Tell me more. What does that mean? I've just lived my life for me. How long have um, your coworkers known that you like guys? My coworkers don't know. Oh, okay. So they okay. Ooh, does your family know? No, this is very new for me. So this is probably going to open up some doors that I didn't ask to open. So you are coming out of the closet on my show. No, I'm not. David, there are, this is going to go viral. I guess I want to let you know. Um, I'm very comfortable with who I am, actually. Right, I, I, I get you're comfortable, but you're saying like family doesn't know and your coworkers don't know and you come on a, a platform for gay men. You're about to let them know now. My family is my family is where as where. Okay. Okay. Yeah. My family's aware. Um some close friends and constituents, but other than that, nobody's really aware. Okay, okay. So you just don't announce it to people, you just kinda let them assume things. Think what you want. Think what you know. Okay. Who what what's the longest relationship you've been in? Two years. Two years. Okay, how long ago was that? About four or five years ago. Four or five years ago. Okay, okay. What makes you a good catch? Like, what are some good qualities about yourself? I'm a holistic man. I'm a provider. <laughs> I take care of myself. Uh, I don't play games. So, um, as a single man, I do single men stuff. But in a relationship, I'm lost romantic. So, you know, whenever that time comes, then I will embrace that. In the meantime, I just do me. So when you're single, you're mannish, and then when you're in a relationship, you're like all into it. Absolutely. I can tell. I get all that Gemini vibe over there. I, I can see it. I can see it. Now, do you have any kids? I have one son. I can tell that energy. How old is the kid? Son. 25. How old? 25. <laughs> 25. Okay. Well, were you previously married to a woman? I've never been married. <laughs> were you dating a woman? Obviously. No, you're going to get screwed her. That's not obvious. That was high school. It was high school. Oh, okay. They dated a couple of times, you know, outside of that, but I've been very transparent with them because I don't believe in lying to women about my past. So I tell them that I've had a history, you know, with the same gender. Mm -hmm. A lot of times it knows it and what you do with that guy. They ain't none of your fucking business, but this is know that I've been with a man before. You know, that's all. Do you still mess around with women? I don't mix. You don't mix. When's the last time you dabbled in the pawn, the lady pawn? I'm still attracted to women, but I don't mix, if that makes sense. It doesn't. Okay. If you're going to date a guy, you date a guy. If you're going to date a girl, you date a girl. So I don't do, I don't go back and forth. I'm not going to take a girl out on a Friday and go out on a guy with a Saturday. So if I'm dating guys, I'm going to stick with guys. Okay. Well, when's the last time you've been on a date with a girl? It's been a while. It's been some years. So years ago. Okay. So would you say you're bisexual? I say that I'm David. Okay. You're fluid. Okay. I don't come with titles, so that you can never get a title out of me. Oh, I can tell. I can tell. Okay. Lord, today. Um, does the guy yeah, have to live in the Richmond DMV area? No, I actually travel back and forth to Atlanta um, for work um, weekend on weekends. Okay, so Atlanta, D.C., what are some other cities you would date in? Uh, um, Florida, uh, Maryland, Charlotte. 
um, North Carolina. Uh, that's about it. Okay, okay. If somebody wants to come on and ask David a question, I'm sure there's somebody who wants to ask him a question. Wave in the comment section. I invite you to come on and ask David a question. David, have you ever preached? Are you a pastor? <laughs> no. They said you're giving Eddie Long vibes over here. But I can't because he's dead and I'm alive. <laughs> yes! So be very that's, careful. If y'all ever thought I was shady, <laughs> David just took the, the trophy. It's the shots for me. <laughs> Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> so over in different cities, um, what's a good age range? <laughs> uh, I don't date older. I date younger, actually. You date younger? Like how much younger, David? I would say between um, 25 to 45. You would date a 25-year-old? Have you ever dated someone 20 years younger than you? Yeah. You said your son no. is 25. I've never dated anybody 20, 20, 20, 20 years or younger than me. You said your son's 25, right? Yeah. So you would date someone your son's age? It depends. It depends on I date on I date on the level of maturity. Okay. And so that doesn't come with an age because you got um, in today's society, you have people that are younger, that are more mature, and you have older people that are less mature. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Based on the level of maturity, and I'm going to put a number on that. Okay. Would, would you be okay with your son dating a guy who was 45? No, my son's straight. A woman that's 45? Yeah, that's his business. I don't got shit to do with me. Okay, okay. That, that's what the man said. Um, so yeah. you said 25 until what age? About 45. 45. I, I wouldn't be older than me. And 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 I say that very respectfully. I mean, it's just based on the person. Um it, it's it's very, very, very it's very touchy because it's it's based off appearance, basically. You want a I youthful wanna... look. Yeah, I like a useful look. I don't like an older look. Okay, okay. So you want I, someone I, you? I, about daddy. I got a daddy. <laughs> and that's my father. <laughs> yeah. I I you don't want know. nobody telling you nothing. You want to be the one who's leading and charge and all that. Right. Oh, Lord, today. Um, <laughs> um, let me see. Um, what about body type? What do you like? Um Mm, that's a very good question. Uh, preferably smaller framed. I'm open to um, medium sized framed. I have had encounters with those where my size, and I'm I'm kind of medium to. You're medium. Uh, yeah. Okay. Um, it just depends on the on the individual. Um, yeah. Okay, so you like a little twink, a little <laughs> slim guy. Uh -huh. Of course, that's always the go-to, but as I've gotten older, I've been really open to um, BMI. Um, the BMI has to be, you know, it isn't really, I've, I've, I've lessened my restriction to a small BMI. Okay, you know, body mass I, index for the B, BMI, if people want to know. Yeah, okay. For the people that are less, educa less educated, I get it. So, um, it, it... It's the shade for me. <laughs> It, 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 it just, it just, uh, I just have to kind of see the person because I've I've talked to people that are my size and I'm mean, like I'm a, I'm an average, um, you know, but BMI. But you know, it, if the personality is not where it needs to be, it's not going to go any farther. But if it's an excellent personality and they're a thicker guy, then I'm I'm open to it. Okay. <laughs> um, you have a preference for race. <laughs> Actually, I don't. Oh, you're open to race? Okay. Yeah, I've dated um, different <laughs> races. Okay. Um, uh, relationship type. You like monogamy, open relationships, agreements. What do you like? 
No, nothing open. No, no. If you're not into me, you're good. <laughs> nothing open. Okay. Let's see these questions they got for you. Okay. Um, they want to know what your tax income bracket is, just the average of range. 85K. 85K is their average salary. Okay. Um, let's see these questions. Are you into open relationships? He said no to that already. Um, PDA, are you into public display of affection? I am. <sighs> Do you date femme guys? There's a level of, of, of femininity. We're listening. There's just a level of it. I don't like like nails. Um, my, matter of fact, I was talking to my sister about that yesterday. I don't like the the extra nail stuff. Um, that's just my personal preference. You know, when I get manicures and pedicures, I just get my nails buffed. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like the extra you get high buff. buff. Yeah. Yeah. The, all the designs and all that shit. That ain't. That's not me. You know. And that's no judgment. That's your thing. You yeah. Know what I mean, but, but I, I'm a family guy. And um, I've literally <clears throat> lost relationships because I'm a family guy. You know what I mean? So if I'm dating somebody, you got to be into me and my family. Yeah, you, know you want I mean? someone to be who connects with family. Yeah. Yep. So, and, and my family likes to check and make fun of folks. And so we like to have a good time. So, you know, for me, I already know my folks are cutthroat. So it's like, do I want to set them up for failure? You know what I mean? Or do I want you know, them to really enjoy their evening. But for me, I just think that um, my personal preference, I don't mind a little bit of sugar, but don't be extra sweet. You like some sugar in the tank. Again, if someone has a question for David, you want to come on live and ask him a question, wave, I'll bring you on. I say, Lamont, bring me on. Let's see. So where did that come from? I didn't know that was going to be that going on. Let's see. Um, Ask him to stand. Oh, we'll get to stand up soon. Don't you'll you'll see him. We'll do full. Um, does your son know you like men? He does. Okay, I think that is sweet. Are you demanding in a relationship? No, I'm not. Okay. Uh, uh, no, describe demanding. Say that again. Describe demanding. Um, you request things that might be unrealistic and might be a little s selfish. No. Okay. Okay. You all can ask spicy questions too. Uh, so, so a person can't be their self with you. No, he said he wants you to be your authentic self. That's what he yeah. said. That's what he said. Yeah. Um. <clears throat> if you're comfortable with your sexuality, why are you discreet? I know there's a good answer for that, but go ahead. I know there's a good answer for that. Um, I work in corporate healthcare. Um, that's important to me. That's my career. Mm -hmm. I have two careers. I have a dual career. So even in my career, it's not sexually oriented. It is a matter what my orientation is. For me, professionalism has nothing to do with orientation. Mm -hmm. I don't want anybody that's over the top. You know what I mean? And so that's You don't want flamboyant. Guys, um, I'm, how do we carry ourselves in the corporate environment? Mm -hmm. To me, that has nothing to do with femininity or masculinity. We're in corporate, in corporate, in a corporate healthcare setting. How do you carry yourself? My, no, uh, do, you uh, yeah, do, uh, do you go in a minute and say, "Hey, girls, how y'all doing today?" You would never fucking do that in a meeting of a panel of of, of people that are actually getting to sit down and talk. if I'm if I'm in a panel, like I have seven providers that I manage and forty eight employees. I'm not going to go in my office and go, "Hey, girls, how y'all doing today?" That's not going to happen. You know what I mean? And if we have a company party, I'm not going to bring the body with me that does the same thing. I'm sorry. So, you know, David, initially, like, I was like, I get it because, um, like, depending on different career fields that you're in, like places of business, you can get fired for being gay. Like, I have a lot of friends who are teachers, principals, and they can get fired. Um, but specifically about the healthcare care field, <laughs> My husband, he's a nurse, right? And um, like when you talk about like 
how do you be open in a place of business? He doesn't, he doesn't do what you just demonstrated, but he might say, you know, oh, I'm spending time with my husband this weekend, right? He, he shared he's like things about who he is, his life. Right. He's transparent <laughs> about it. So you can't be openly gay in the healthcare field and transparent. I agree with that. Um, it just depends. It de- it depends up- about. It depends upon what do you want to really reveal to people. You know what I mean in your career. Um, for me, nobody's really nobody's really came to me and say, David, are you gay? Are you straight? Are you bi? Because they know not to ever come to me and ask me that. You know yeah, I mean? you probably I, give a whole energy like, don't bring that my way. Like, but right. usually people might assume and just talk about you behind your back. Well, that's been happening for thirty years. Yeah. People assume, and I don't ever, I don't deny, I confirm. You know, this is this particular platform tonight mm. is more confirmation. You know what I mean? So this is something very new to me. Mm-hmm. Um, so this is a step that you know that I've literally embarked in. So I'm just kind of just stepping out into the dark by myself. You know what I mean? So um, it's new to me. Yeah, um, yeah. But I know. Um, that I would never waste anyone's time about my life and my future, mm-hmm. you know. So I tell a woman, you know, hey, I'm, you know, I want to be with you forever, blah blah blah. Mm-hmm. That, you know what I mean? Yeah, so, yeah. so facing who I am, if it means that the people that respect me on a straight level, I lose their respect, then then I'm okay with that. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? It is. It, it's a risk. It is a risk, and I get it. I it, get it. Yeah. Yeah. It does. It, it, it is, and I'm okay with that because God is the last judge, and I'm okay with that. So I'm fine. Okay. Look, I love this conversation. Let's see these questions some more. Give me like three more. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Um, do you feel like being? Oh God. Let's. Uh, do you feel like being gay is a sin? No. Okay. Good answer. Good answer. Good answer. What's no. your favorite? Uh, what's your favorite color? Let me stop before we go to the color. I have taken, uh, I have uh, applied a lot of energy and pressure into really studying the scriptures because I'm a very spiritual person um, about lifestyle, scripture, all that good stuff. So I've really put in a lot of time to kind of really figure out how does that relate to me? Yeah. And. As guys see me as a full grown man, SGL man, you know, I don't consider myself straight or gay. I'm same same gender loving. Yeah. You know. What I mean? So however you want to interpret that is fine. Okay. Um the people that are very intimate with me that I love and care about, they know. Right, right. Okay, That's- David, I know we're we're short on time. I want to be able to see you head to toe. So back the camera up. Let's see you. Cause this is going to turn into a whole hour interview. I don't want to do that. <laughs> so, so go ahead. Let's see you head to toe. Okay. <laughs> Lord, it's looking like I'm crazy. So, um, and they, they want you to take this hat off too. They want to see what's under that hat. I don't give a damn about that. <laughs> oh my God. He's so mean. <laughs> All right. So, uh, I must have to do this as best as I can. They want to see um, this BMI. Come on. All right, cool. Can you see that from here? Yeah, do a little spin. Turn around. Let's see you. The cakes he ain't giving up. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> oh, you hot, David? You sweating over there. <laughs> I'm good. I'm better now because the door's open to the back. So, okay, David, it. tell us your Instagram handle one more time. Uh, uh, um, my Instagram handle is infinity means forever. Infinity, I N F I N I T Y M E A N S, the number four E V A. All right, David, this is David. David lives outside of Richmond in Fredericksburg, closer to DC. He's 45, 5'10, 212 pounds. He is a Gemini verse top. He works in healthcare and management. He wants to get married. He wants he has a child. 
He's open to race. He wants someone between 25 to 45, someone on the slimmer side to average. Um, yeah, this is David. David, um, go on some dates, make your page public, and keep me posted, okay? So I need to make my page public, is what you're saying? For one day, so guys can send you messages. Well, they can send a request, and I'll accept it. One day, keep it public so they can see your pictures, they can send you, have <laughs> reasons to say hello to you. One day, that's all, David. I got you, I'll do that. It tonight. won't kill I'll you. Right. Thank you. I appreciate it. All right. Have a good night. You too. All right. Bye. <sighs> Lord, today, that turned into a whole counseling session and like uh, um, discussion on homophobia, all that type of stuff. Rank this man. We have 368 people watching. If you think David is dateable, Put a 10 if you think he is not. Put a 1 in anything in between. I want you, if you're watching, are you... <laughs> Gabe. <laughs> no, that's not a score. Um, If you watched and you thought, you know, you... We're doing whole numbers. Z 1. I said 1 to 10. Everybody at least gets 1 for coming on the show. Um, <sighs> mm -mm. Rick, one to ten. <laughs> <sighs> yeah, I'm going to say, yeah, let's keep the show going. Um, if you're watching and, um, <laughs> Y'all messy. Y'all messy. Y'all messy. Y'all messy. <laughs> oh, let's keep going. Let's keep going because I'm going to be crying all night. Let's kick you. Okay. I'm going to Jamil. 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 I'm coming to you, Jamil. Jamil. I'm coming to you. Oh. Oh, <laughs> hello, hello, hello. Hey. How you doing? I'm good. Is it my hello. camera or yours? It seems like it's blue or something. Oh, it's mine because I'm in my like studio area. Hold on, let me change it. <laughs> More light. Ah! Much better, much better. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> I thought we were doing like an avatar or something. Good, 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 good. <laughs> How you doing tonight? I'm doing good. Good. Tell, tell me your name. Been, my name's Jamil. Uh, my artist name is Lear J. So it's Jamil. We need a little bit more light wherever you had before that was like. That? Not yet. Keep going. There you go. Right there. Right there. Right there. All the light. All the light. All the light. Right there. Right there. All the lights. <laughs> yes, Rihanna. Yes. <laughs> Turn up for the lights in here, baby. Oh, comment section, y'all are horrible. Okay, Jamil, where do you live? I live in Dallas, Texas. Dallas, okay. How old are you? 35. 35. How tall are you and about how much do you weigh, Jamil? I'm six foot one and I weigh 175. 175. What's your zodiac sign? I'm a cancer. Cancer in the house. What's oh, good about cancer? Because I know y'all gonna ask me to take it off anyway. So they want to see these sorry. waves you got over here. <laughs> okay. <laughs> look at Jamil, I heard you say you were an artist. What type of artist are you? Um, so I'm a I'm a, a singer songwriter. You're a singer and a songwriter. Mm -hmm. Okay, what type what type of um songs do you write and sing? Uh, a, a lot, actually. I have, like genre. Uh, I have three music projects that are, that are out on uh on so, like on major music platforms right now. Mm -hmm. I have some art R and B covers that are acoustic, and I also have some um I have a R and B pop album called Crown, and then I did a country album called Country Love. Okay, I love it. I love it. Give us something. Sing us like something quick, just so we can hear the vocals. Okay. Um. You knew I was going to ask for that, right? <laughs> I knew. I knew. 
Boy, if you ever left my, my side, I feel like taking sun from the sky. Yay! Love it, love it, love it, love it. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> Michael, I do see you in the comment section. Hello, Michael. Welcome. He needs a special hello. Um, <laughs> great vocals over there, Jamil. Jamil, um, you said you're cancer. Are you team top, bottom, or verse? Verse top. You are verse. Tonight might be verse top night. We will see. Okay. Look, you know, you could, I mean, if you call me a blouse, whatever, I'm cool with it. You know what I'm saying? You can call me a fem top if you want to. <laughs> we like fem tops, okay? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know? <laughs> Okay, so you sing, um, you write songs. Do you do anything else? You have a full time job, or is this your full time career? Uh, so I do that, and then I also, uh, my family owns a company where we have group homes for people with disabilities. Okay. Uh, so I manage group homes uh, for people with special needs. That's awesome. Tell us your Instagram handle and spell it for us, okay? Uh, it's the Fab Life of Mr. Beard, so T H A T H D F A B L I F E M R B E A R D. All right, so this is Jamal Jamil. I'm sorry, I'm about to call you Jamal. It's Jamil. He lives in Dallas. He's 35, six foot one, 175 pounds. He's a cancer. Burst top. He sings. He writes music. He also manages a group home for folks with disabilities. Tell us what type of guy are you looking for tonight, Jamil? Um, I, so I'm, I'm poly and I'm pan. Okay. So I'm open to, like, I like wine. I'm not concerned about the bottle. Um, what, you say you're not but, concerned uh, about what? I said I like wine. I'm not concerned about the bottle. Oh, you don't care what kind of wine it is. Just bring it. Just drink it. Like, you know, like, I mean, I've, I've uh, been with cisgendered women, trans women, trans men, pretty much Oh, everybody. you said bo kind of bottom. You didn't say bottle. Okay. <laughs> bottle, yes. I said, like, I'm I'm pan, so I'm interested in the person that's on the inside, and it's not really a... Oh, okay, so you're open to... Okay, so it can so, be, uh, you know, cisgender, trans, it, you're, you're open, okay. Have you ever been yeah. in like a poly relationship? Yes. Okay. Like, um, what, how many people? Um. So I had a primary, and um, two other. Uh. Yeah. So um, I I this a high kind of a hierarchy thing. I don't Did know, you I all live to together? I like to have a was it guys, so girls? Primary. What was the configuration? Um, my primary was a guy, mm -hmm. um, and then um, a trans girl, mm -hmm. a trans girlfriend. Okay. okay. And um, and then also a straight girlfriend. So. Oh, did not did y'all live together? How'd that work out? Um, no, I'm a singular poly, so I don't like. I have a my me and my best friend. We live together. Mm -hmm. I don't really want to nest with another individual until I feel that I want to like pursue marriage with okay. like until it's that at that point I haven't been with anybody since you know in a in a very long time that I felt like I wanted to cohabitate with mm -hmm. and that I wanted to go through that, that type of space with okay so you all live separate so you had a main boyfriend and you had two one trans one cis woman that y'all were yeah. in a relationship Okay. Well, so individually, we were in relationships. We were in relationships with they, like they weren't in relationships with each with each other. Oh, but you could date it. You were in relationship with all of it. It wasn't like a like we had like a. I wasn't in a throuple or anything like that. Um, and so, yeah. So I mean, it was just like me and my primary, me and him. We had a lot of the things that were mostly. Uh, the biggest things that are part of relationship. We spent the most amount of time together, all that kind of stuff. Um, and then we would all go, to, I mean, we'd all go to the Slayer's Club together. 
Okay. So but, so what what give us like who are you looking for? Well, you got three hundred and something people watching. Tell us who are you looking for tonight? Um I I'm looking for someone who is adventurous, honest. Cause that's I feel like that's the most important part, especially living a poly lifestyle. Mm -hmm. Honesty is very important. Mm -hmm. Because if you can't trust the person, like it just it's it's very important to have um the honest part of non-monogamy mm -hmm. like the ethical part of it and when people they kind of just they just want to do whatever they want to do and they don't want to like be honest about it or they don't want to be open about it that's that's a problem for me um and so and also adventurous honest hmm Definitely like artistic. I like people who are into the arts in some type of way. Yes, I saw the chasing reality thing on there. <laughs> oh, well, you aren't chasing reality, the reality show? Yeah, I was on uh, Lovers and Friends. Okay, okay, season. okay, okay. Um, premiere. Do you want to get married? Do you want children? We, I want to yeah. keep this moving. Yeah. Okay. Does yeah, the, I, does the person have to live in Dallas or can they live somewhere else? No, they can live anywhere. I mean, I'll travel. Okay. <laughs> What's a good age range? Um, so I would like someone that's in their 30s, like 30, 30 up to 40 in right. that in that range. I'm because I'm right smack dab in the middle. So like like five years up, five 35, years down. I, yeah. So um <laughs> Yeah, I don't really want to date anybody in their 20s. Like, that's not, I'm, I'm not interested in that. Um, and like how he was saying earlier, I don't want anybody trying to tell me what the fuck to do. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> don't talk to me like you're my daddy, because you're not, bro. I'm not. So I'm David, the last guy, wouldn't be good for you, because he seems like he wants to be, like, in control. Uh, also, what if I want to wear a corset to the event? So, you know. <laughs> not going to happen. Not going to happen. Not going to happen. Oh, no. You know. So you said 30 to 40, um, you have a, a preference for race? No, I'm open to all races. Okay, okay. <laughs> Down for the squirrel and, uh, you know. Let's see these questions. Let's like see, if, if you have questions for Jamil, put them in the question box. They can be spicy or regular. Let's see what they get, Lord, today. Let's see. Um, with being poly, are you willing to be monogamous with them? Yeah, if it's uh, if it's the the right person, I'm really interested in, and that was what they was part of what they wanted, and I was really really interested in that person, then I would definitely consider it. Okay, are you a makeup artist? Uh, yeah, I, oh. I do do makeup. Also. Oh, you do makeup too. Okay, do you have a passport? Yes. <laughs> These questions. Um, we will get him to stand up in a moment. And it's got tattoos already. You said what? I said, and my passport already has tattoos already. So. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> um, let's see. Um, have you ever had a body? Like, you just I would shave your head off. No, I haven't. Okay. No. Um, how big is it asking for a friend? Someone wants to know. Eight and a half. Eight, eight, eight and a half. Okay, there you go. Um, cowboys or Texans? Cowboys. <laughs> Would you ever date someone that is 57? Mm, depends on what they look like. Do they look 57? And are they male or female? And how much money do they have? <laughs> Cut or uncut? <laughs> <laughs> Cut. Oh. They said, Lamont, can we start over? No, we're keeping this shit going. Okay. Um, uh, do you like how trans people make you feel? You know, what's it, what do you like better, trans or, or cisgender women? Um, I don't really necessarily have a preference because I feel like a, a, 
a feminine energy, a woman is a woman, mm -hmm. right? Like, so, so regardless of what's going on, like a trans person's genitalia is not important to me. I don't, I, I just don't. You don't, want the feminine energy. That doesn't, that, yeah. Like, I mean, if, if, if a, a woman is a woman. If I see you and you are presenting woman, you're a woman. And so my attraction to you is about like your femininity, like all that type of thing. So, you know, I, I'm just interested in that person and it doesn't matter to me either or, you know? Okay. Okay. I feel like we went from one extreme to the other. I think you and David are like this. <laughs> like <laughs> complete opposites of the spectrum. Yeah, like Definitely. North Pole and South Pole. Like, I think it's hilarious. Um, do you like trans men? Yes. Oh, he like any bottle. He said, it don't matter. Okay. <laughs> okay. Would you ever get married? He said, yes. Um, Definitely. Would you let Fat Rabbit hit that? <laughs> what? I don't know. Oh. Oh. <laughs> what? <laughs> Hell no. <laughs> Hell the fuck no. <sighs> they said, what's your BMI? <laughs> Apparently that's the question for the night. <laughs> Y'all can do the calculations. I'm six foot one and 175 pounds. Definitely, uh, I'm I, I think I'm the actual medium. Not oh. what I don't know. If... Okay, let us see you hit anyway. the toe, um, Jamil. Let's see you. <laughs> and you got to turn around a little bit, okay? <laughs> Let's see. All right. My content corner. Oh, you're in oh, the corner. <laughs> What's this setup you got on oh. over here? This, this. <laughs> oh, so it's it's my studio corner. Like I have my I have my my mic and everything. Over oh, here okay, okay. Well, I record in here, so we gotta see you head to toe. Oh well, we gotta bring this further back. So hold on. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> There's really not enough space, and I'm a little baked right now. This is really difficult. <laughs> I see. <laughs> I'm fasting, so I'm not drinking. <gasps> Dreadful as I can. I'm having do. some technical difficulties. <laughs> okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. <laughs> oh, <Ow>, that's terrible. <laughs> 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 Y'all don't judge me. I'm sorry. It's the weed, y'all. I'm sorry. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. Oh. There you go. Perfect. Turn around. Oh, you, I had to lift the shirt up. <laughs> <laughs> all right, you all. Listen, this is Jamil. Jamil lives in Dallas. He's 35. Hey, y'all. I normally wear makeup all the time. I was doing content earlier. I was filming some videos. There's no judgment. We like makeup. I saw y'all in the comments. Hey, ass bitches. Let them have it. Six mm -hmm. foot one, 175 pounds. He is a cancer, verse top. Um, he writes music. He sings. He uh, manages a group home for folks with disabilities. He is poly. Um, and, um, you know, it doesn't matter what the bottle comes in. So long as you got some female energy, he appreciates it. Wants to get married, wants children. Open a race. Do they have to live in Dallas? No. Open the cities. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Tell them your Instagram yeah. handle one more time. It's the fab life of Mr. Beard. And for my music, I do sing for real. Y'all can find me on all major music platforms, the fab lyric J. All right. Thanks for coming on. And it's lyric posted. with a K. Huh? All right. <laughs> it's lyric with a K. Okay. Good night. Bye. Good night, Jamil. You could have two more different people just back to back, okay? Let's rank this man one to 10. If you think he's dateable, put a 10, a one if you think he's not. Oh, if this just went, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Y'all be like, we ain't got no tops on the show. We just had two tops on the show, okay? <laughs> Ah! <laughs> you got one more tops? There you go.
Yeah, Lamont, we want we're tops on the show. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Have at it. <laughs> I see a 10, I see a seven, I see a one. <laughs> we'll find one for you, Ryan. Oh, we got a couple Ryan's in watching the show tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you to everybody buying badges for supporting this show. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Mine too. It's it's high. These interviews. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Oh my goodness. <laughs> Let's keep it going. I am going to Anthony. Anthony, I'm coming to you, Anthony. Anthony, I'm coming to you. Let's see if you are ready. <laughs> oh, Anthony, are you, let, are you coming? Let's see. Mm. Hello, hello, hello. I, it's it's hard to see you because it's dark and I can't hear you. I'll come back to you, okay? I can't hear you. No one can hear you. You're in your car. You're going to kill yourself. We'll come back. We'll come back. Listen, y'all not going to blame me when y'all get hit by a car. Excuse me because y'all on on the show, okay? <sighs> Let's keep it going. Who else do we get? I am going to Galen. Galen. I need y'all not to be on no shit tonight, okay? <laughs> <sighs> it is. Make sure y'all keep tagging some people. Hello, 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 hello. Galen, Galen. Hey. Oh, snap. You called me. Wow. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> I was not expecting you to get to me so soon. <laughs> How you doing? I'm good. How you doing? Yeah, you get the hair right. Look at you. Like, let me pat it down. Let me you pat know, child, I ain't got no haircut, so I'm trying to look presentable. <laughs> Prop the phone up somewhere, okay? Okay. And get Let's some see. good lighting so we can see you. How about, how's this? Is this okay? You going to hold the phone or you going to prop it up? Um... I'll hold it. It's cool. Uh, for now, at least. I can hold go, it. Go prop it up. You're going to make us dizzy, Galen. Galen, you're going to make us dizzy if you hold it. Okay, all right, all right. Let me go to my little ring light setup. So. Yes, please. Just... <laughs> okay. All right, all right, all right. One second. Technical difficulties. I thought I had, like, a line or something, you know. All right, there we go. All right. How is this? I'm gonna cut. I'm gonna put exactly where I can cover up the comments because I know y'all be going real foolish up in here. <laughs> you know, these are my co-hosts, the people in the comment section. How's this? Yeah, that's cool. Much better. It is given borderline some you know X-rated porn type video background. <laughs> <laughs> it's my it's my bootleg self tape. It's setup. cheap for me. Yes. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, Galen, where do you live? I'm in Atlanta. You're in Atlanta. Okay, what part of Atlanta? Um, I got, uh, I'm like Southwest Atlanta, like Fairburn, like New out City, in the city, way down there. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. How old are you, Galen? I'm 31. 31. How tall are you? Uh, about how much do you weigh? Um, I'm five eleven, six foot with a boot. With a boot, uh, with a Chelsea boot, yes. Okay. Yeah, with a with a Chelsea boot or a Tim. <laughs> um, and you say how much do I weigh? Oh, I'm like one eighty. One eighty. Okay. What's your zodiac sign? I'm an Aries. Aries. Okay. You can't see the tattoo. It's upside down, but yeah. Yeah, I see it. I see it. Um, yeah. <laughs> are you team top, bottom, or verse? Uh, I'm team top. 
I think I'm a like one of those bottom for love types or verse <laughs> aspirations, but I stick to what I'm really good at. So I'm I'm, I'm team top. T team top. Listen, y'all. Tonight is team top. This is what y'all be asking for. Okay. Take your pick. <laughs> <Ooh>, that's hilarious. <laughs> oh, what type of work do you do? <laughs> what type of work do I do? Um, I'm a freelance actor and um, also like an educator, acting coach. Oh, okay. Artist. So you do acting, coaching, and your uh, 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 and your actor. Okay. Mm -hmm. What's your Instagram handle? Um, I'm at the Galen J Williams. <laughs> All right, y'all. This is Galen. Galen lives in Atlanta. He's 31, 5'11", 180 pounds. He's an Aries, team top. He's an acting coach, and he also does acting. All right, Galen, tell us what yeah. type of guy are you looking for tonight? Um, uh, I, I, I don't know if I'm ever really, like, looking for a certain type of guy. It's, always, it's, it's kind of just like, you know, if you look good and if you have personality and the vibe is right, then that's sort of like enough of a foundation. You know what I mean? How does he make the vibe right? Like, what, do, what does he have to be like? Like a quality? Um, I don't know. Somebody who's like not boring, like, you know, fun, personality, sense of humor, intelligent, can have some conversation, that type of, that type of, type of thing, you know? Okay, okay. They would somebody that's like, somebody can, you know, can hold up a conversation, like that type of thing. I don't know. Okay, okay. <laughs> Um, Galen, they want to know, do you, um, have a, a, a freak Twitter? Cause it's the background is given, you know. If I have a freak Twitter, you would know it's mine. <laughs> oh, you cover your face up with a mask. I actually, well, no, I don't, I don't, I don't, I, I have a freak Twitter, but it's just like, I just like and retweet. I don't really post content. But you don't life. have content. Okay, okay. Uh -uh. Okay, okay. Once upon a time, I did, but I deactivated that account. <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> Somebody you know. might have evidence of it. We'll see. Some, right. There might be some stuff floating around out there, but like I said, you wouldn't know it's me. <laughs> okay, okay. Um, What are some good qualities of yours, Galen? Um, good qualities. Um, well, I quite personally think I'm hilarious. Mm -hmm. Um, so, uh, that, but also too, I mean, you know, I, I think I'm, uh, really smart and also like just really empathetic and, um, passionate, you know, um, I feel like, uh, yeah, prime time, I don't know, like just prime fire sign, like good energy, good vibes. Like I try to keep, uh, conflict and drama to like a slim to zero. You know, so I think I'm just fairly, fairly, uh, fairly easygoing. Uh, I okay. Think. Yeah. Okay. Just very driven, ambitious. You know, I have goals, I have dreams, aspirations that I'm like trying to make come true. So I think that's like. Uh, Where do you feel thing. like you are right now in life? Do you feel like you're still trying to make it? Are you doing great? Are you excelling? Where do you feel like you are? Um, I mean, I've done some pretty cool stuff thus far. I think that I'm like. I think I still got ways to go for sure, but like I'm in a I'm in a decent place for now. I feel I feel like I'm like on the precipice of like my glow up, like okay. before everybody really knows what's about, you know, who I am or, or what I'm about. But like I think I'm doing pretty good for myself. You know, I'm not exactly where I wanna be, but I'm not but in the same breath, I'm not like at rock bottom, you know. Okay. Um, okay. Okay. So you know, I'm I'm, I'm still figuring it out, but I'm you know, I'm optimistic. <laughs> I love that. Now, yeah. um, what's the longest relationship you've been in? Um, two and a half years. Two and a half years. Okay. But people like that. Um, now, do you want to get married? Do you want children? What are your views? Um, I'm not opposed to marriage with the right person. Uh, I think I'm like, I'm a child of divorce. So like, that's a, you know, that's a, I don't want to get divorced. I know that much. So, mm -hmm. um, and yeah, I do want kids. I do, you know, like, I'm like one, at least two is perfect. No more than three. That kind of thing. Okay. Um, yeah, you know, I'm somewhat of a, of a family man, like, or have, uh, or have imagined a, a family life, you know. Okay. okay. But um, I don't know. I'll be like at this rate, I'm like, child, I might just be <laughs> single for the rest of my life. You're, I don't know. You're 31. <laughs> you have plenty of time to find. Plenty of time. Plenty of time. Right. Okay. But the time is, you know, the clock is ticking though. So you don't have and, any you know, over. I, I don't want to be. I don't want to be one of those people that like starts a family at 40. You know, <laughs> like. They want to know, are you into monogamy, poly, open agreements? Where do you land? Um, uh, I 
think it depends on the person. Mm -hmm. uh, I'll say this. I'm not opposed to monogamy, but I'm not going to be monogamous for anybody that I don't want to be monogamous with. You're um, not going to be monogamous so, with anybody that you don't want to be monogamous with. Right. Like, I'm not going to, like, settle for monogamy if that's not what I want. Okay. However, I'm not opposed to it. And also, too, in the same breath, like, I think I'm poly capable. <laughs> like, you know, I'm capable. I'm, I'm capable of polyamory. But, like, um, I think that people sort of drop the ball with, like, the whole open relationships or polyamorous thing with, mm -hmm. like, with not understanding that it like it's that's like you know that's like a that's like next level open like open door policy for communication honesty transparency you know people be trying to like you know duck and dodge or cut corners around it it's like well we don't really have to do that for just being open and honest about right 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 on. yeah and a lot of people yeah a, a lot of people judge but they're really in open relationships but they don't know about it Exactly. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. Now, what's um? What does a guy have to live in Atlanta that you date? Um. Uh. At least at the beginning. Yeah. I'm mm. not. I'm not interested in beginning like in in entertaining a long distance relationship from the jump. Like if we have a solid foundation together and we have to part ways, you know, and become long distance. That's like after we've had a successful. So at least several months to a year together. You so you know? prefer he lives here and then maybe if I do career. Yeah, that makes sense. Um, yeah, I mean, because you know, like my career takes me all over the place alone itself. So like, yeah, I understand that that's like, that's probably just going to like sort of come with the package. But I do think that like it has to be built off of a strong foundation of us. Yeah. You know, being together in the beginning ages at first, at least physically. Okay. What's a good age range? What's the youngest you would go? What's the oldest? Um, I feel like the youngest I would go is like 24, 25. You said 20? Oldest I would go. 24? Yeah, I'll say like youngest 24. Mm -hmm. Oldest is like 45. Okay. What about um, body type? What do you like? Um, well, I'm pretty... I'm pretty well in shape myself. Mm -hmm. And so I'm not requiring an equivalent. However, as long as the body is proportionate, as long as the body is is well maintained, I'm not looking for like a muscle or beef head, but in the same breath, like I'm not really into uh how do I say this without sounding offensive or fat phobic. You want someone <laughs> to take care of themselves, healthy. Yeah, yeah. Health yeah. conscious. Health conscious, yeah, yeah, yeah health conscious. What's yeah. your BMI? What's yeah. your BMI? <laughs> Apparently that's the question for tonight. What's your BMI? <laughs> My BMI, I think, um, I don't know, I think the, the, I haven't checked in a while, but like the last time it was like maybe 10 or 12% body fat. They want to see the abs, um, sir. They, uh, Galen, they want to see the abs. He said, no. Nah. Y'all can go to my page for that. Go look at it. Oh, they want to see a lie. <laughs> they want to see a lie. <laughs> What'd you say? I don't, I don't, I don't. If you're trying to turn it into that kind of show, we can, but... We got know. the black sheet and all. Why not? Let let them see the abs. There, and he has a little... There we have. Oh, <laughs> there your abs. Like I said, it's on my page. <laughs> you can see more pictures on his page if you want, okay? Yeah. <laughs> all right, so you said um, 24 to 45, health conscious. What about race? Mm -hmm. Um... I definitely want black love. Mm -hmm. However, um, I'm open to brown love as well. Okay. Um, I, I'm not totally against white men. It's got to be a very specific white man, though. A very specific type of white man. <laughs> so, so black, brown, open to a specific type of white man. Okay. Yeah. And you said you're into agreements, whatever, how y'all decide on how the relationship is going to work. Yeah. Yeah. Let's see these questions they have for you. And if anybody wants to come on and ask um, Galen a question, wave and say, bring me on. I'll bring you on. Let's see. Let's see. <laughs> Do you have a SAG card? Um, I'm not fully SAG, but I'm SAG eligible. Yes. Yes, eligible. I definitely want somebody to come on and ask Galen a question. Do you speak French? Um, je parle un peu de français. <laughs> um, poop? A little bit. Um, poop. Okay. Um, poop. <laughs> I actually love languages. I'm like obsessed with languages. If they want to know how long is the piece? Um, I'm more of a girth type. 
if if that's if that's sufficient. Um, I don't really measure. I just know it's fat. That's all I can say about it. It's it's the fat meat. Okay, let's see. It gets the job done, and there are no complaints. So, <laughs> how many movies have you been in? Um, I haven't been in any major motion pictures. I've been on an episode of Pose. That's as oh, you've been on Pose. Life. Okay, which I... which um season and episode can we see you on? Um, I'm in season one, episode three. Very small, just like a quick little one-liner. I'm in the dance class. I'm the one that's given, you know, I guess there's like a, I have a little like sassy one-line sort of thing. So that's like my, that's, you know, that's anything, like the only major sort of big that's thing big. that people are probably seen. But I do have, but I, there's actually like a whole show um, that's on Here TV. If anybody has Here TV, I have like a whole web series that I'm the lead of called The Gays. Okay, we'll um, have to check that out. Yeah, yeah, it's it's actually one of the it's like one of the one of my probably one of my uh like career highlights. I feel like the show itself is just high quality content and you know uh in, incredible cast. TC Carson from The Living Single is on it. Um, oh, I like well TC. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. So you're you're making moves. That's it's awesome to see. Yeah, I definitely want someone to come on and ask him a question. Are you married? Yeah. I'm not married. <laughs> Far from married. <laughs> okay, so this is a good question. When was the last time you cried? <laughs> Literally the other day. Literally the other day. Like, not yesterday, the day before yesterday. Yeah. What made you cry, if I can ask? Um. Well, you know, I'm like I was saying earlier. Like I'm not like I'm not where I want to be, mm -hmm. but I'm not. But you know, I think. It's just a, there was a, there, I think there are a lot of personal circumstances that I'm going through in my life that, that I wasn't really prepared for. You know, mm -hmm. like the like I'm back home in Atlanta. I'm, I'm from here. This is like my first time living here in like over a decade. You know, I'm like sort of in unideal circumstances um, mm -hmm. that I'm still trying to like navigate and figure out. It's been a lot for me, like mentally and emotionally. So like I've just been trying to deal with that on a day to day basis. But that was sort of like that was what brought me to tears. You know, mm -hmm. but also too, I think that there's like there's a the I was thankful for it because you know it's it's cleansing, it's healing, it's healthy. Oh yes, to, it, you got to gotta get that out sometimes. You got to get that yeah, out. I think sure. we have somebody who wants to ask you a question. Hello. Hi. Hey, what's up? You want to introduce you yourself? Yes. Um. What's up? They call me AKA hey. Project. What's up with you? Um, How you doing? I'm doing good. I just um. You know, this is on some weird stuff, but, you know, I feel like we could be great friends. Um, And I was just wondering, like, um, are you into, like, because I, I see, like, a freaky side in you. So I was wondering, like, if you're into, like, um, having a top as your friend. Having a top as my crush? No, friend. Oh, as my friend. I mean, friends are friends, you know. I. Yeah, I'm all, I'm always up in a friendship. Yeah, regardless of what, I have plenty of top friends. <laughs> uh, oh, okay, cool. If you're trying to like take down bottom together, that's a different story. But that's what I'm know, trying to like, figure out. Is that what you're insinuating? That's who. <laughs> <laughs> He's looking for a tag team partner. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. I'm not. Um, I am. I'm definitely like you know. I kind of like. I'll try anything once. But I'm not really like you know. I'm not really looking for that so for friendship right now. <laughs> I feel you. I feel you. But I just want to come on and say hey, what's up? Um, and so you got a nice personality and um. Thank you. You'll, you'll be fine. You'll do fine. Um, I'm surprised you ain't taking it though, but hey, it'll happen. I think a lot of people say that, but in the same breath, like you know, as much as like as much as I'm not taking yet, it's also like within. That's like within, like I have that autonomy over that too. Like it's, it's as much my choice as it is the, as it is like the slim pickings. Cause I do feel like whenever I have put myself out there to like try and change that, it's just, you know, guys don't be consistent. There's like no sort of follow through. Like, you know, people drop the ball. I drop the ball. They drop the ball. Like it's just, you know, it just never really works out the way that it should ideally work out. So, you know, mm -hmm. but I'm open to, but I'm, I think I'm finally in a place now where I'm open to changing that. Like I have, I've been sort of resistant to it, but now I'm like, okay, I'm open. I'm ready. You know, I'm not like on a witch hunt for it. Right, right, right. So I have a question though. Yeah. Tell me your name again. 
Mr. Pro. <laughs> Wait, say that again. Mr. Pro. It it did you hear when he said his name was? It's choppy for me. Mr. Mr. Pro? Mr. Pro? Yeah, Mr. Pro. Mr. Pro. Pro. What is your I government name, bruh? <laughs> my government name? I don't want to say my government name. Okay, well, whatever. Are you looking for a, Mr. Pro? You, you looking for a top to be a friend so you can smash somebody? Is that what you're looking for tonight? Yeah, possibly. Well, I, I, I really think we got brave person to come up here and say hey to him because um, ain't nobody look, look like they wanted to come say hey to him, so that's why. Do you have top friends that you smash people with? Um. Yeah, I'm getting there. Like a lot of people ask me to, but um, people I'm ask you to go talk about, with I, other people. Mm-hmm. I, I talk to people. Ask me all the time. <laughs> what these people look like? They actually look really good, but it hasn't happened yet. Work. It's in the process. I'm saying I'm about to get like him. Okay? It's in the process. <laughs> Shoot. All right. Thanks for like coming you, on, bro, boy. guy. Hey, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Okay. Yeah. Back to you. <laughs> it is not that type of show. Like that's it's we're we're it's we're not looking for top friends to smash people with. It's yeah, yeah, yeah. I appreciate the I appreciate the attention though. He like, was yeah. shooting his shot indirectly so you could help him smash somebody. Yeah. Yeah, I'm with the shit, but to a degree, to an extent. <laughs> um <sighs> Uh, we answered this. I didn't want to know how big is Mr. Pro's piece. <laughs> Tiago, I want to, uh, I'll bring you on. I'll bring you on. Let's see. Um, I'm bringing you. It's Tiago. I keep butchering his name. <laughs> <laughs> wow, this is fun. I thought I'd be so much more nervous than I actually am, but I'm like chilling. Yes, it's, <laughs> I, we just make it easy. Hey, what's going on? Yeah. Hey. hey. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> How are you doing tonight? How are you? I'm good. How are you? Good. Something um, stuck with me when you talked about divorce. So I was wondering, what's the background story when it comes, how do you see relationships and how do you deal with failure? Mm. Um, divorce can be a topic and sometimes like in Latin and Black culture is stigmatized. So I wanted to mm -hmm. know about how do you see that? Yeah. Um, well, I think it affects me in that, like, in sort of, like, essentially every relationship is disposable. You right? So, like, in my, like, I think if, like, if the, if the, if the union that I came from is, I, if I watched it come to an end as I was growing up, then how, what that, how that manifests itself in me as an adult is like, well, I know that, like, if, if it all boils down to it, if we, like, become so, uh separate or so like apart then it's like we can just we could just cut it off we could just end it so that you know we're not like holding on to some like societal standard of like oh we're married so we have to stay together like i'm not interested in keeping somebody around just for like the sake of that's what that's the right thing to do or that's like or, or it's a sin to do otherwise like i'm not really uh i'm more of a spiritual person than a religious person and so like the like the stigma of divorce isn't really something that like frightens me or something that I necessarily mm -hmm. subscribe to. So you if know, it's over, you feel like it's, if it's, it's over, it's okay to end it if it's no longer yeah. needs. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Because I'm, I'm, you know, because I mean, even though I was really young while it was happening, like, I think the older I got and the more I learned about what actually goes into divorce and like how long it actually takes and like the different types of divorces and all that stuff, I was like, I don't want to go through that. I don't want to mm -hmm. put myself through that. I don't want to put nobody yeah, else through yeah. any of that. So like, I would rather like not marry or like you know find some other kind of way to like to to like. I think you know there. Are, I feel like there are ways to be like married or bound to each other without the legal documentation. But like if it gets to a point where like where I feel secure and this is my life partner and I want to be legally bound to this person, then sure, let's get married. You know. Okay. Okay. Was that so, yeah, the reason? It's, uh, I don't know. It's complicated. Say what? Was that the reason your last relationship didn't work out? Um, no, no. I think like you know that that was that my my last relationship that was that uh I think that failed due to 
um, learning lessons around dishonesty and learning lessons around, like, uh, uh, mm -hmm. it's okay to show up fully as yourself and um, there's no reason to act or behave like someone or something that you're not in order to keep somebody around. Because if somebody really loves you for who and all and what you are, then there's no reason for you to be dishonest about who you are and what you want. And I think it took that last, it took my most recent relationship to teach me that, you know, but that was something that I, um, yeah, I think my very, but my first long-term relationship, that was like something completely different. Like we were okay. you know, just- Great young, response, young great response. Good, good, good. And it's it's Tiago. Yes, Tiago. Yes, thank. Great question. And you came out to my um event on Saturday where we did painting. Thank you so much for coming out. I it wish I knew about that event, Lamont, because I'm in Atlanta. I was in Atlanta this weekend. I had no idea about it. <laughs> Listen, y'all gotta y'all gotta there. follow. I try to make the post. You know, we had wine, we did yeah. painting, music. We had a good time. Yeah. Got you. All right. Thanks for coming on, Tiago. Yeah, thank, thank you. you. That was a great question. Slide into his <laughs> nice DM. Go ahead. <laughs> He's a D. He gonna be in your DM. Good, good. <laughs> um, we already saw you head to toe in the body and everything. Um, this is Galen. Galen lives in Atlanta. He's 31, 5'11, 180 pounds. He is an Aries team top. He's an acting coach. He also does acting. You can see him in pose. Um, he is looking to get be in a long-term relationship. Marriage is an option, right? Or it cannot be an option. Open the children at some point. Wants to date between 24 to 45. Black, brown, or some type of white guy who understands our culture. Um, he, um, you say, monogamy, agreements, y'all make that stuff work. You can see that he's very open-minded, long-winded as fuck. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so you got to balance that. <laughs> Tell us your Instagram handle and spell it for the people, please. Uh, my Instagram is at the Galen J. Williams. That's the with two E's, G-A-L-E-N-J-W-I-L-L-I-A-M-S. All right, so listen, Galen, you are, your inbox is going to be on fire, okay? At least go on two okay. dates, all right? Okay. <laughs> and keep me posted. Okay, I will. <laughs> all right, good night, good night. Thanks, Lamont. How are right. you? Bye-bye. Oh, what did y'all think of Galen, okay? What, what, what did y'all think of him? One, not dateable. Ten, dateable. I want all 370 of you all to vote. You're my co-host. I want y'all to vote. I think we're going to do an extended night, so be prepared for that, because all these people have been long-winded, every last one of them. <laughs> and apparently this is Team Top Night. <laughs> y'all been asking for tops? <laughs> there you go. I see a nine, I see an eight, I see a nine, an eight, a ten. Yes, Stevie. <laughs> I see an eight. Hey, Brian, I see you in the comment section. 7.5, that's an eight. We're going to round that up. <sighs> Brian said it's a five, yes or no. <laughs> Close ended questions. Um, a seven, a nine. Yeah, he's long-winded. Maybe in the bedroom. That's what y'all want, right? He, the man said he's a top. How you gonna argue with him? That's what he said he is. That's what he said he is. Let's keep it going. I think he's averaging a nine. He gets a nine. So, I, you know, you well, some of you all might know, outside of this show, my real job, I'm a matchmaker. And I match gay men all over the United States outside of this show, right? So I do have a guy that I'm trying to match in the Chicago area. And so I'm looking for some guys in Chicago, any race between 30 to 38, athletic, um, open-minded, into monogamy, wants marriage, wants children, financially stable, someone um, who's more verse, verse top, top. That's the type of guy I'm looking in Chicago. And also, if he's open to dating long distance in the area. If that's you, DM me later tonight. Not right now. <laughs> okay. <sighs> Let's keep the show going. I still have a um, 
comment pinned. Let me unpin that. Who's in the queue? Let's go. Let's go. <clears throat> I am going to go to. Let's see. There's a lot of people here. Um, Lamar, I'm coming to you. Lamar, Lamar, I'm coming to you. <laughs> Lamar with the L Y. Let's see. Let's see. Mr. Curry. <laughs> How are you, sir? I am doing great. How are you doing tonight? Uh, a little nervous, but I'm doing good. Uh, listen, don't be nervous. We we had some characters on tonight. Let's see how we make it happen, okay? Okay. <laughs> I love the glasses over there. Oh, thanks. So, um, Lamar, I've met you. Know, I've met Lamar in person. I know he's a um, real estate agent, right? Mm -hmm. Yes, yes, yes. Now, Lamar, um, where do you live? Um. Be between D.C. and Chicago, I'm about 70 percent D.C. and about 30 percent Chicago. Oh, OK. So D.C., Chicago. So you're kind of like back and forth. Yes. OK, good, good, good. How old are you? I am 43. 43. OK. They, they want you to take these glasses off so they can see you. OK. OK, perfect. There you go. There you go. There you go. OK. How tall are you and about how much do you weigh? I'm six, three and a half, and I weigh 184. 184. And you can smile for us, Lamar. It's okay. We will not bite you. Some of them might bite you a little hard, but you, you'll live, okay? Okay. <laughs> okay. Um, what's your zodiac sign? I'm a Leo. Leo in the house. Um, is there a delay? Okay, they said it's not much. Me. I don't hear you with the delay. Um. Uh, <sighs> Do you, are you on airplane mode or are you connected to your Wi-Fi? I'm on both. I have Wi-Fi. I'm, I'm on Wi-Fi. Yeah. You're on Wi-Fi. Okay. Yeah. Oh, let's see. Yeah, they keep saying it's a delay. You don't hear a delay from me, though, do you? No, I don't hear a delay, but um, for them, there's a delay. Okay. Here's what I want you to do. I want you to um, hang up. Connect to um, airplane mode, do your Wi-Fi, do not disturb, and I'll bring you right back on, okay? All right, give me about one minute and I'll be right there. Okay. All right. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Yeah, usually, like, if you all watch the show, it's fine to watch it, however, but if you're in the queue and you want to join the show... I think it is always best to automatically put yourself on airplane mode, do not disturb, and then connect um, to the um, Wi-Fi. <sighs> it will help. It will help. Okay. Let's see. All right. Lamar is back. Let's see. <laughs> None of your business, Khalil, because I don't want you wearing it. <laughs> all right. Welcome back, Lamar. Hopefully this is better. Let me know. You all in the comment section, tell us if there is a delay or is it is it back to normal? Is it OK? Give me thumbs up if things work well. Let me know. Give me some thumbs up. Let's see. And Lamar, is your page public? This should be us. Okay, perfect, 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 perfect. Is that a requirement? It's not a requirement. Oh, okay. <laughs> You're like... <laughs> Let's see. It's no better. Michael said, it's no better. Someone else yeah. tell me who doesn't have an iPhone. Reggie says it's fine. He's in Detroit. Let's see. I am shy, says there's a delay. Still delay. Delay. I don't know. They said it's giving delay. I don't know. Maybe it's the fan. Last week, the one guy had a fan on. and It was giving delay also the whole time. Well, some people saying it's fine for them. And others are, say something, Lamar. Um, well, go back to your interrogation. We can start there. And then see, uh, <laughs> What's your zodiac what, sign? Leo. You're a Leo. 
And are you team top, bottom, or verse? I'm a bottom. You are team bottom over there. Yes. Lamar, when do you do you ever give the D up or just not not never ever ever gonna give the D up? Um, if I do, you won't be giving me any, so let's just say that. <laughs> so you're telling me if a guy does you, he did a great, 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 and then one time he's like, you know what, Lamar, I want some D and he might sit on it randomly and you just the next week you gonna be done with him? Yeah, I'm ghosting. Why? Why? <laughs> That's where I am. Just, I know what I like. You know what? Nobody who want no flip flop stuff. Yeah, nah. Okay, okay. So he is a strict. He's strict bottom, giving no D up unless you take it, and then he ain't gonna call you next week. Okay. Um, <laughs> and you're into real estate. Tell us um, your Instagram handle and spell it for us, please. Um, WDC Realtor. So it's W D C R E A L T O R. All right, you all, listen, this is Lamar. Lamar lives in between D.C. and Chicago. He is 43, six foot three, 184 pounds. He is a Leo, um, team bottom, and he is a real estate agent. What type of guy are you looking for tonight? Um, I like the alpha type, so... Um... You know, it can be shorter, taller, doesn't really matter. Mm -hmm. um, height, weight, proportionate, um, light skin, dark skin, just mm -hmm. no emotional issues. No emotional issues. Okay. What are some like characteristics of the guy that you might want to have as like personality? Um, someone that's easy to deal with, easy going, no drama. Um, you know, we're both men, you know, just do what men do. I'm going to do a pause in between every time we respond so it can deal with the delay. So I'm not being weird. I guess I'm going to let you know that, okay? Understood. Great. Okay, now, um, what makes you a great catch, Lamar? Ugh, it's always hard to sell yourself, but I would say that um, I'm gainfully employed, uh, have all my chompers, uh, <laughs> Well-traveled, uh, educated, all those good things. Uh, heart is definitely open for love, but I'm not willing to settle. Um, I think that's about it. Okay. what? What? I want to know, Lamar, like, what's the longest relationship you've been in? Uh, I would say the longest relationship I've been in has probably been about three years. Three years is great. That's great. Now, do you want to get married? Do you want to have children? If I met the right person, possibly. But is that on my uh, vision board? No, it's not on my vision board. No marriage, no children. You just want to kind of kick it with someone long term? Or is it like a commitment? Like, give us some nuances, because I hear like some hesitation. Um, definitely not um, a poly person, right? So definitely into um, monogamy, definitely into a committed relationship. If it gets me to a place where I'm thinking marriage, maybe, but I haven't met that yet. So it's not something I'm willing to uh, consider at the moment, but life happens, things change. So. Okay. There, there's somebody in Chicago who said, come on, hang out in the South side. I want that person to click the request button or wave and bring on, and I want you to ask him a question, okay? We got some Chicago folks, you know, trying to holler. <laughs> well, that, that's actually interesting. My place in Chicago is on the South Side, so. There you go. There you go. Um, what's a good age range? What's the youngest you would go? What's the oldest? Youngest I would go would probably be 35. Oldest probably 55. Okay. 35, 55. You have a, a race preference? Uh, black only. That's all I'm interested in. Black love. If it ain't black, that ain't it. You want a black man. Okay. Okay. Black now, um, do you have a preference for body type? Um, person can be thick. They can be slim. I just want something that's, you know, height, weight, proportion. I don't want to have to pull your stomach up to, uh, to uh, actually, you know, engage in sex, right? But 
Um, for the most part, you know, I don't have a preference either way. You can be a size 30 ways or a size probably 38 at the most, but yeah. Okay. And, and I heard that like, you know, you're open to body type and um, height as well. So you would, you would actually date someone who's not six, three, cause it's hard to find someone taller than six, three to climb you. Like, well, I would say that usually short dudes usually are engaged with me. I don't know what it is, but that's what I seem to attract. Get a ladder. You can climb Lamar. He'll make it happen. Okay, okay. Well, when we're laying down, we're all the same, all the same height, so it's all, it's all good. <laughs> okay, now, um, you said you're not into poly. Let's see these questions. If you all have questions for Lamar, put in the question in section, and we'll see what we get, okay? I need my glasses to read these questions, so I'll put my glasses. I'll read them. I'll read them. What's a okay. financial goal for this year that you um, have to align to accomplish it? Um, I don't really have anything financially that I want to do. I just want to do more saving and do more investing. So um, that's the two things I want to do. But is there anything that I need to um, purchase or that I'm trying to achieve financially? No. I He's already financially there. He ain't. He fine. Okay, y'all. He fine. He got it. Um, can I slap Lazarus on your face? I don't know what that means, but uh... I think he wants to put baby batter on your face. Uh, yeah. Uh, I'm not talking about what I do sexually, <laughs> but I'm not a sexual prude. Let's just say that. <laughs> Oh, the questions are going to get spicy, Lamar. They're going to get spicy. Let's see what they get. Um, do you have whole term or term? Do you have whole or term life insurance? I have both. <laughs> That's these people. These people. Um, good question. Do you acknowledge your pain as being someone who's a bottom? Yeah, I mean, it's there. I use it, you know, to jerk off and do other things. So I do acknowledge it. I'm not tucking it with tape. <laughs> not tucking it with tape. Do you want, like, the guy to play with it? Can he do things with it? Or is it off limits? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Okay. I will tell you this, I, and I will give you a scenario. So I met somebody, and it was a hookup thing, right? And so he claimed he was a top. So the thing that turned me off is as soon as he – got my pants down he dropped to his knees to uh start sucking me off and i thought that was a little interesting um being that you know i'm a bottom and it kind of turned me off but i mean do i use it yeah but i mean there's different roles right i'm like i'm not looking for anybody verse right so i know there's this thing as verse top and oral top and all these other things i'm old school i believe there's just three positions but <laughs> So you prefer him to let you suck him off first and then do stuff and then at some point do you, but not going straight for it. Yeah, that was, it was really weird. It must, it, 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 it might've been calling him. I don't know. We don't know, Lamar. We don't know. It might've been looking at him weird. Um, they want to know, are the poppers in the refrigerator or the side drawer? Um, the, the refrigerator, if you want to keep them fresh. <laughs> I just learned that last week. I didn't know that. I didn't know that. I did not know that. Okay, let's see. Uh, what other questions they get? Have you ever been hit standing up on your head? Mm, no. Nah. This is not the circus. Lamar is too tall for that. Um, um, what's your favorite part of being in the Air Force? Apparently somebody's looking at your page. I'm retired, so. Okay, retired. What did you? Have, what was your your job function in the Air Force? I was an air traffic controller and uh, flight attendant. Nice, nice. Okay. What is your FICO score? You do not have to answer that if you don't want to, or you can. It's in the high seven hundreds. Boom, people. Okay. Um. Okay, good question. Do you have any red flags? Um, yeah, I believe that for me, there's a little bit of a wall, right, that has to be dropped. But if you meet the right person, I think it eventually falls. Um, that's what I would say, yeah. Uh, amazing response. I tell people everybody has red flags. 
-hmm. You're a liar and a narcissist if you say you don't have red flags. It's really about being aware of what your red flags are and working on them, right? So good response. Let's see. Let's see. Um, Do you like shorties? He answered this question. (laughs) The answer is that's what I typically attract and I have nothing against them. So, yes. Oh, uh, who do you bank with? What? <laughs> uh, several institutions, Navy Federal, USA, Capital One. They, um, they're, they're trying to scam you. Um, do you lose respect for men that top you? Oh, no. Why would I? Okay, no respect, but he's not going to call them back, though. Um, let's see. Oh, do you like being spanked during sex? For some reason, tops like that, it doesn't do anything for me. But if you want to slap the ass here, there, yeah, great. Just make sure your nails are cut and your rings are off. It's given no marks, please. <laughs> right. Uh, let's see. Um, these questions. No, he, he answered this question. He's not okay with... He is okay with receiving oral, but not off the gate, right? Right, not off the gate. <sighs> Do you bottom at sex parties? <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> um, have I been to sex parties before? I I have. Have I? Yes. Is it something I'm doing currently? No. All these questions are sexual for you. Why is this? I don't understand. All these are sexual questions for you. Um, Oh, here's another question. Would you date an older guy that's older than 55? If they're young in nature, like spirit, um, and, you know, somewhat youthful, yes. I could could probably say yes. I try not to get into my... My parents' age. My parents are both 63. So once we start getting older than 55, it kind of gets into that. Yeah, that yeah you don't want to date someone that's like same age. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay, Lamar, let us see you um, head to toe. You got to put the camera somewhere. Oh, wow. Um, I got my robe on and just, all right, hold on one well, second. Wrap, wrap, wrap that thing up so nothing falls out because, you know, they be gone for it, apparently. You know. Uh, I can prop this up again. They can see that. Make sure they can see you head to toe. Yeah, I got it. I got it. I got it. <laughs> They're like, take off the robe. Take off the robe. As long as he has clothes on. Work. Does it work? Okay. Okay. Now give give us a little spin. Give us a little spin. Okay. I can't see what you can see, so can you see me? We can see everything. Okay. All right. <laughs> oh, they want to know, are you into dating trans people? No. No, you you want a cisgender male? Yes. Okay, okay. Listen, you all, this is Lamar. Lamar lives in D.C. and Chicago. He's 43, six foot three. 184 pounds. He's a Leo team bottom. He works in real estate. He um is into getting, you said marriage or long-term relationship, right? Long-term relationship. I haven't really thought about marriage, but you know. Long-term like marriage. That. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Um 35 to 55 prefers black guys, average, taking care of yourself, healthy, into monogamy. You can tell that um he wants someone who is ambitious, you know, focused on your career, confident, more masculine energy, um, someone that can, um, you know, maybe teach Lamar something, make him smile, make him a good guy. Tell us your Instagram handle and spell it for us, please. WDC Realtor, W-D-C-R-E-A-L-T-O-R. All right. Uh, now, are you in D.C. now or Chicago? I'm in D.C. You're in D.C. Okay. When do you go to Chicago? Um, I work between here and Chicago, so I was just there two weeks ago. So I would say I'm in Chicago at least once every five to six weeks. 
Okay, okay. So, okay, okay. So, I would say then go on a date in DC and go on a date in Chicago. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. All right. Thanks for coming on the show. Yeah, you know, this was a challenge for me, right? But I said I would do it. Amazing job. Amazing job. <laughs> See you, Lamar. All right, take care. All right. Everybody. All right. Okay, Lamar did good. Lamar did amazing. Amazing. Um, let's rank him. Let's rank him. If you're watching, let's rank him. One being not dateable. Um, 10 means dateable. Let's see. Let's see. <laughs> right, Phil. <laughs> Are y'all gonna rank him? Are you gonna rank him? I see tens. I see tens. A seven. A eight. A seven. A eight. Who? <laughs> right. Okay, I think he's averaging an eight. I think we're giving him an eight. We're giving him a <laughs> good job, Lamar. So listen, we're going to keep the show going, but what I'm going to do is, because I know Instagram kicks me off at a certain time, so um, I'm going to hang up and restart in one minute. I know we have about like six people in the queue, so all six of you all, I want you to want to hang up and come back, click the request button again, okay? Um, I'll give y'all a second because I know there's a five minute delay, a five second delay. But what I'm going to do is I'm literally going to hang up. I'll share this and then I'll come right back on in one minute. All right. So I want all you to take a one minute break, go to the bathroom, get your drink, whatever you want to do. Um, I'll be back in one minute. And then it's people who are in the queue. I think there's six people. Um, click the request button again, and we'll be right back. All right? We'll do an extended version because those first three or four people were very long-winded, and they just ate up a whole bunch of time, okay? All right? I'll see you all back in one minute. And if you're watching this show on YouTube, sorry, you will not get to see the after show. You got to watch it live. You got to watch it live. I do put this recording with the comments on my YouTube page, so that's half the show. <laughs> Whatever, Brian. I don't need to do that. I'll see you all back in one minute. <laughs> one minute.